I used to be a badass. I, I was the CEO of a company with over 100 employees. I had a six-figure salary, and by that, I mean, you know, upper six-figure. <laughs> my word was law. My, my employees, they feared me. But, you know, we were leaders in our field. I, I dressed in suits every day, in good suits. Ate out every night, the best restaurants, drove to work, dictating memos, making phone calls, answering email, took vacations at the best spots. I lived the life people dreamed of. And then the virus hit. At, at first it was nothing, you know, rumors, things happening over in China, nothing to worry about, but my suppliers said it wouldn't be a problem. And then the supply started to slow down. You know, we were getting reports the virus was spreading. Our suppliers were getting worried. And some died. Then the virus came to America. At, at first I thought it'd be okay. You know, production slowed, but kept up. But then people got worried and stopped buying. And then the stay-at-home order came down. You know, I tried arguing that we were essential, and I got denied, and we had to close down. I told the workers on a Wednesday that we'd shut down that Friday, and, you know, profits were down. I could give them two weeks' salary and keep their health insurance for a month, but then they'd have to go on unemployment. There was a lot of grumbling, I understand that, but... You know, I, I wasn't going to liquidate all my assets just for them. You know, they, they had their chances to build their portfolios, their bank accounts. They had their chances to invest properly through the years. You know, it wasn't my fault that they hadn't. <clears throat> yeah, I, I tell you, the day I walked out of that office and locked the place up, it almost ripped my heart out. But I was okay. You know, I, I knew it would just be for a, a few weeks at most. But then it stretched on and on. And I had to learn how to cook. You know, I, I tried ordering local, but it, it wasn't the same. Plus, the, the food would be cold when I got it home. And so I looked up recipes online. <laughs> God, thank God the internet still worked. <laughs> and gradually, you know, I, I got beyond basic PB&J to make more elaborate dishes. I even made bread. <laughs> okay, it was from a mix, but I, I made it. And, and then, you know, as, as this went on longer, I, I noticed things changing. You know, time slowed down. And my phone wasn't ringing that much. I started going on walks. <laughs> At first, because, you know, I couldn't go to the gym, and then because I was bored, and then, uh, well, I liked it. <laughs> no, the, the air was cleaner. It was quieter. I, I began talking to people I saw, you know, waving at first, and then they'd say hi, and I'd return the greeting, and suddenly we were talking. <laughs> I mean, yes, six, six feet apart, but talking to people I'd lived near for years, and never got to know. You know. They're amazing people. We shared stories and thoughts, ideas. We offered to help each other as much as we could. As I walked, I, I began to notice things, you know, moving slower, not rushing by in my car. I saw things like, like lawn decorations and blooming flowers. You know, those hearts on windows? I, I saw the sky. In the, the clouds. I walked in the rain for the first time in, in years. And I began to soften. I, I called my accountant and liquidated a lot of my assets so I could go back and pay for my staff to have health insurance. I, I bought a couple neighbors groceries. I donated to some local charities and um, I slept a lot better. Look, I don't know how or, or when this will end. 
all I know is that it changed me. It it changed everything. I, I, I would have never asked for this pandemic with the loss of life that it's brought, but my eyes have been opened because of it. And for that, I am grateful. You know, money really isn't everything. I, I mean, it's, it's nice to have, don't get me wrong, but um, I paid a price for focusing too much on it, and I, and I miss the, the bird song, the breeze on my face. And I'm reminded of the words of a, a great philosopher, Ferris Bueller, who once said, Life comes at you pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around once in a while, you might miss it. Well, we stopped. I got to look around. And you can too. Thank you. I'm Trisha Baggins.